Hello everybody, today we are going to be uh, making, revamping this animation. So I've gotten way better at animating. And look at this, it makes me want to cry. I hate it. Yeah, it sucks. So I'm going to revamp this and make it uh, better so it doesn't look like a two-year-old did it. Probably because a two-year-old did do it. But uh, yeah, so first we got to start with the map. So it seems like a wall, so let's get to work on that. All right, I made something similar, but hopefully this will work. No, no. Anyway, so let's get our player. So our player is real Lydon. This user, and that's the account I was using. It got bad. It got banned. So I'm just gonna use this bacon here instead. So basically, in the animation. He jumps up here way too high actually, and then he does the roll, and then he starts running, and then he jumps off, and then he lands on his back. So, let's animate the jumping. This is, there's a, there's gonna be no cuts or time lapses, so if you don't like it, then just skip ahead to see the final animation. I'm not that good at animating, so don't judge me. So let's go to 15. All right, we're gonna make him actually bend his knees before just jumping like that. That is something I forgot to do. Actually, no, I didn't even know how to do uh, that. And actually, let's make the things like a little bit uh, more realistic. Like, uh, like this. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Maybe we can fix the legs a bit. Does that look better? Yeah, it looks a lot better. And then we'll make him curve a bit. That looks pretty good. That looks like a powerful jump, and it's probably powerful enough to get from point A to point B. And then point C, point Z. Alright. So, I don't know if I'm going to do post pose or uh, whatever the hell the other one is called. This looks uh, pretty bad, but we can probably make it look better with easing and the, something else. This is not final animation, just this whole one. All right, now we gotta make the jump. I want this. I want the user to know that this is a powerful jump. So, make the legs go back. Oh God, this that looks weird. Make it maybe spread out a bit, make it go like that. I'm actually gonna move it down a bit. Curve it a bit, make sure that go a bit more up. Whoa, okay. Maybe I can make, make him go a bit forward too. Yeah, it looks a bit better. Yeah. Boing. I like how he curves his hand like that, so. Keep it like that. Then. Go like this. Well, that curve is literally unnoticeable. It's gonna be even more unnoticeable whenever I do this. No, Fred. Yes. You don't even tell that there's a curve there. It's just perfect. Okay, now he makes it up here. That's really good. Now, let's actually make it a bit slower. Yeah, it keeps the same velocity going. Yeah, I like it. And then we're gonna make him roll. Before that, he has to protect his head. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make him hook his head into here. It's gonna be going fast. So it's gonna be from a side angle. So I gotta make it look good. But from this perspective, it's like, just, I don't know. Looks like he's doing a handstand, kind of. And let's make him tuck his legs and yeah, maybe close them a bit. Alright, yeah, that's good. Maybe you could do like sort of a boxing pose like this. Where he covers up his face. So, let me try that. Does, does that look any better? I can't see. Frick. So, I'm not the best at pose. That looks actually really good. I'm not saying. From this angle, it doesn't look that good. But from this angle, that looks actually kind of crispy. I'm not saying. But I don't like how we like. 
I don't like how he just go like does it. I don't know how he goes like this and then he slowly does it. So I'm just gonna copy this. Actually, no, I have to go back. <clears throat> I like when I, I like this one right here. So just in the middle. Whoa! What the hell? Mm, delete this. What? What's the first that's happened? Okay, okay, let's scrap that. All right, so crispy angle. Wait, one. All right, crispy angle. Yeah. Mm. Now I gotta make the roll. So I think I think actually before I think if it looks like that, it kind of looks better. Cause I'm not working with a reference video here. Then I gotta make it roll. I'm just seeing this coming towards you. That's <laughs> pretty nice. And then he's gonna get back on his feet and start running. Make the legs go down a bit more to clip into the torso. And he's gonna pop right back up, so. And then. Actually, gotta rotate the torso to be like this again, and then we can change the legs so it actually stands up. Yes, very nice. And then we're gonna make him do like a squatting with the arms, like squatting pose with the arms. I think that looks pretty good. And we're just gonna do a stutter arm. Ooh, that looks weird. Looks like he's driving a car, sort of. Ooh, that actually looks pretty good, in my opinion, though. <laughs> looks like he's driving a car. Speaking of driving a car, I made a new animation video. You should probably go check it out. Now he's gonna get back up, and he's and then he's gonna start running. That make him up, get up quick, though. So. Uh. So let's make him rise up a bit more. Put the legs like that. Correct if the torso. Stand back up. <laughs> and we can lower the arms a little. <coughs> yeah, looks pretty good. Yeah, looks pretty nice. I actually like that. Now, this isn't the final product. And usually what most new animators do, you just like everything made to quad, but just look at this. It just looks bad. But with the power of M, you can make it even look worse by doing absolutely nothing. Yay! This looks like a very low-quality animation now. <laughs> what, would, what would bad out look like? <laughs> that did, that did. But that is what, but you can tell because it's basically just like nothing. Ooh, it's speed of nothing. Stop motion? No way. And if we made everything M. Yeah, that's way more smooth. Ooh, I love that. I love that. I freaking love that. Yes. And now I'm going to make him lean a bit forward. No. All right. This is this guy's right leg, and I always start with my right leg, so. I can make him go like out. Wait, no, this is like a pose on animation. He's a, like. And then, right foot up. I gotta get more of that. Then we can curve this one back. Go back here. Now that looks like a powerful run. Not a lot better at animating wrestling. And basically, I I don't know if it's I don't know if it's the smoothness of the animation or it's. Or it's my posing that sucks, cause I don't usually work with reference videos. I think the only time I worked with that was on that backflip video I did. 
Oh, wait, no, we gotta, we gotta change that. We got, if we make him go forward, then will that, like, do anything? Wait, hold on, let me make this all M, because this is probably what the final product is gonna look like. Yeah, that looks pretty nice in this thing. All the moon animator pros are in the comments of like saying, what the frick? Actually, let's make this shorter. I'm gonna make this a lot shorter. I don't know why I have this wall in the back. Okay, that, that does not look right. We need to make this slower. So it matches with the speed. What's the fillet? Where's the fillet? Bro. Why is it clipping the other one? It's weird. I don't like it. Stop. Don't do that. Knee go up. Like that. What's the flip? Oh my god. Uh, put this like that. I go right foot up. Left foot slide. Basically, no. This is very. Um, and please don't look at the time. I know it's, uh, is that 8.29? Oh my god, it's 8.29. I thought it was 6.29. It looks, now it just looks like he's Naruto running. Da -da. Also, we need to add more power between those legs. There we go. And I think you should look up a bit more, you know? It's sad. I don't like that, no. We need more, add more power between those arms, you know. Now it just looks like a Republic version of... Yeah, he... Why is... Wait, what? <laughs> Alright, no, we're not doing that, no. Here, let's see you now, let's see you now. It should look better. Okay, I still can't animate running animations. Am I still recording? Yep. Oh god, what the hell just happened? Hey, whoa, whoa, what the hell? Alright. Yeah, this looks... Eh, frick it, I don't really care at this point. Wait, so whenever I'm running and I get ready to jump, I usually lift off with one leg. And then he lands on his back in the animation. Wait, does he? I forgot. Yeah, he lands on his back. Wait, did he already move? Uh, he did. That's a lot of power behind that run. Yeah, that's like the fifth time I said it. <laughs> you know, that step makes it like look like he wants to run a lot further. Okay, we gotta slow that the hell down. Let's see now. Now I'm gonna make him put his leg, his arms back like this. Uh, what do I do? I jump, I usually just tuck my 
this leg and then go in a bit like that. <laughs> no. Uh, what do I do with this leg? I usually like put it backwards. Hold on. Yeah. I think I do that. Just seeing this bacon there charge you full speed. And then he's, he's going to stop right at the edge. And then he's going to lift off right at the edge. What's the fan? I'm going to make him do a front flip. I want to make him do a front flip so bad. He's going to fall and break his neck. I'm gonna make him do a front flip. I don't care anymore. It all only matters about the front flip now. I'm getting close to the end of my animation. Actually, no. I'm gonna make him land. Is this gonna be? Is this gonna be like? That this imagine this was when he was like an infant and this was when he was a pro. I feel like there should be something happening with the arms back here. Maybe we should uh, go beside the legs more. Imagine just seeing this running at your full speed. It just breezes in with the wind. And now, I, now I gotta make these go a bit down more. I'm gonna make his hands grab onto his legs. And that looks really nice. Oh wait. Uh, file settings ten. Mm -hmm. All right, so he goes like that, and then I'm gonna make him stick his feet out for the landing. Let's do speed up for landing. It looks very weird. And then whenever he lands, I want to make him go into the ground a bit. So it'll take those legs a bit. Let's go move him up. Because his whole body is gonna have a jolt. Like. Dun dun. And then. It's gonna go like. Actually, no, let's keep the legs the same. And let's make them a bit taller. And let's make the arms go out a bit more. I want to make him go back into the ground more and just lift his legs up more like that. the arms go a bit lower yeah okay here's the final product yes whenever I'm done to make it look better I just press M on all the keyframes don't get mad at me no running doesn't look good Ooh, that looks clean but only I have only one problem let me go over here You don't go into the floor damage. It is, it is not 
enough like power behind it. Oh yeah. <laughs> No, that not that quick. Come on. What? Maybe I should like space this a little bit more. No, maybe. Oh, I see now. He's, I think this is supposed to be like post getting up. So yeah, maybe like that. Let me see it now. It looks like he voluntarily puts his legs on. Yeah, it looks like he, you know what? It always falls today. Nope, not today. Maybe it's this one. Here, I don't care anymore. All right, now let's just get to animating the camera. My mouth is so dry. Let's just see the camera. Maybe you gotta press M a few times, you know what I'm saying? Cause it gets rid of all the sharp turns. I didn't even know you could use M on camera. Why do I call it M? It sounds so stupid. Nope, that just looks worse. Maybe if we only just select this and make it in out. Yeah, that looks way better. Okay, never mind. What the hell was that? No. I'm just gonna press M a bunch of times. And now it's Chris. I don't like how it just goes like. Mm -mm. No, frick this frame. And frick this frame too. Uh, frick all these frames. Okay, now let's just see it. Boom. All right, here's the final product. Now listen, this could use a lot more work. But I don't really care about work anymore. Have a good day, bye.